Hello everyone and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon with me, Lucky Lore Master, here at the Luckmore Estate. Alright, I did a little bit off screen uh, while uh, I was away, and I did some upgrades for Alexander, Pan, Asmo, and David, who will be going after the Swine King. And unfortunately I spent a little bit too much money, and so uh, hopefully we'll be earning back uh, at least some of what all we spent. Uh, I went with uh, trinkets uh, like the Warrior's Bracer, and uh, Junia's Head, the Bright Tambourine, and the Knight's Crest. Hopefully those items will uh, give us the edge we need. A lot of them are boosting damage and hit points, and also uh, boosting up heals, so hopefully that will work out for the best. We already have our arrangement all set up. We are going after the Swine King on a veteran level, see, a uh, veteran level. Hopefully, uh, everything will work out for the best. Let's go. Provisions will have to be uh, a bit tight, unfortunately, because of our uh, little shopping spree that we had earlier. I'm going to stock up on food, because that's... and torches first. Those are the most obvious purchases. And uh, we can just get some basics from there. Uh, maybe a couple of shovels. A couple of... Uh, oh wait, we already had medicinal herbs. Um, Wait a minute, there we go. Don't need quite that many. One skeleton key, and uh, we'll just call it there. My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. Ew. So now we're getting a slightly fuller story as to what grossness happened there. Man, yeah, that animation. Ugh. Just makes your skin crawl. Let's try not to focus on that. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Hmm. Well, that is a very, uh, <laughs> very cube-like, uh, not quite cube, but uh, rectangular dungeon. Alright, as to where the uh, enemy will be farthest away from us, I guess it would be one, two, three, four, uh, over here in the southeastern corner, it would look like. That would be the farthest point away from us. So it's a question of which way we want to get there. I suppose we'll go... Uh, this way, if only to be efficient. And if the fight goes well, we can continue exploring for the rest of it. Oh, I actually changed um, uh, Alexander's uh, texture to this kind of dark greenish black. I felt it kind of fit him better. A uh, fortune waiting to be spent. Make him seem more badass. As if he wasn't already badass enough. And I don't think it torches fortune, but you know, whatever. Oh, we got a fight in our way. Several fights in our way. So I think actually we're going to try to be sneaky about this and uh, make our way to where we need to go without getting in any fights at all. And then we can, uh, after dealing with the Swine King, laden with loot, are often low on supplies. Go from there. We actually might be able to dodge any battles at all if we keep going south. And that would be uh, pretty swanky. Going absolutely fresh. Ooh, ooh, who has got nasty stuff that needs to be gotten rid of? Oh wow, it's Pan. Pan, Pan man. Pan, you got problems, dude. Alright, so let's burn away some of those uh, horrible problems. Faithless quirk removed. Okay, well, that helps. Not quite what I wanted, but every little bit counts. Oh, we got another scout. What do we have? Oh, well, we do have one hallway fight before we get there, but we're gonna get the no matter where we go, so onward. Oh, just some corpse eaters. Not too intimidated by that. The ground quakes. Ah, especially when we do that to him. Holy cow. Poor things, they don't have much of a chance that that's going to be the case. Decimated. 
Um, yeah, let's go for the slice off. Alright, didn't quite get it. Wow, I got a pretty good light chain. Did I bring the uh, anti venom? Oh crap, I did. Well, that's silly. Destroyed. Whoa. Well, we don't have any stress to worry about there. Uh, yeah. Battle Ballad? Thankfully not too strong of light. Annihilated. And that's all she wrote. So I suppose we'll dive right into uh, that encounter and I don't think... A handsome reward for a task well performed. I don't think we'll have many problems with the Swine King. One measly little fight. Hello! Gosh, aren't you a sweet little fella. Bit of squeal. What the hell? Stunning our poor freaking pan way here in the back. Nasty little Wilbur. And now he's marking poor Asmo. To be the target. Oh, that stinks. Um... Well, you're here to make him bleed, so let's start the slice off. Precision and power. Crit for 13, holy cow. Alright, well, let's get him marked. Yeah, you're going down, Swine King. This is going to be ugly. Obliterate body. Well, that's pretty mild damage, all told. How about we chop you in the face? Oh man, that's a nice hit. Yeah, this guy is going to be... We're going to get through him fast. Oh, seems like Wilbur gets two turns. I guess he's just so speedy. Oh well. A decisive pummeling. Uh, Asmo is a murderer. So much bleed. I like his little... <laughs> His little pom-poms are actually kind of cute. Alright, so we've already marked him, so let's actually reduce his damage so he can't hurt us that well. We can curse. Ah, oh, he resisted. Damn. I was really hoping that would work. That's gonna hurt. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Yeah. That hurt a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. So, uh, yeah, let's hope Pan gets some lucky heals there. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, looks like Alexander needs it more. What can we do? We can do up to 16. Let's hope we get lucky. Zero. Alright, Pan, we're gonna need slightly better than that. Slightly better. Come on, Asmo. Chop, chop, chop. Pan is going to be healing worth shit, so we need to get this over. 29. Holy shit, that's a crazy amount of damage. Okay, time for the pain. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Don't you dare, Wilbur. I swear to God, if you fucking kill Alexander, I will eat you alive. You bastard. Come on, Pan. Win that initiative. Alright, he's going for Asmo. Asmo stunned. Oh, thank goodness. Come on, get a real heal. 17. Okay, now I feel much better. Problem solved. Well, Asmo, you're the next one to uh, be on the receptacle for pain. Hopefully we can get a few good hits off before that happens. Uh, we got to remark him, though. I'm gonna make you hurt. 13 damage, not bad. 12 damage, bleed. Oof, I love it. Oh, 14. Not as critical as the ones before. Oh man, that's squealing. That's squealing, Wilbur. You're really starting to get to me. Ooh, 9 damage on bleed, and yet more bleed. Up to 16 now. Oh, he's actually dead. He won't be able to do anything when his turn comes up. Well, that's fun. So who should we heal? I guess David. Eight. Better than nothing. 
so, um, yeah, I guess if he's dead, we can just do some healing ourselves. There you go. Right. The promise of safety. Feel better. Um, gosh, throw a flashbang at him so he dies stunned and bleeding to death. How insulting would that be? How many rats will it take to gnaw through a ton of putrid flesh? Oh, probably a couple thousand, I mean, my guess. Maybe a couple hundred. I don't know. Not really something I've thought about before. Uh, yeah, let's do some inspiring tunes. Make sure everyone's stress is nice and low, and then we can, uh, make Will to pay for it. Are you getting tired of that school, bud? How could you stun all three of our fighters? Fucking nasty little bastard. I think it's time to mark you. Masterfully executed. But your death will be horrible, Wilbur. It will be horrible and swift as soon as this stun fades. Your 21 speed is not going to save you. Not going to save you at all. Yep, people resisted this time. Now it's time for you to die. Obliterated. Okay, Alexander holds a new damage record at 50. Wow. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. 50. That's how you make them feel it. Holy cow. Okay, the Swine King's done. So, I suppose we shall go about exploring these lovely little dungeons that he's created for himself. Probably could use a little uh, time to rest, considering how banged up the group is, and how unreliable uh, Penn's healing has been as of late. So, hmm. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Most definitely. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. Alright, does anyone have something that's good for healing? Alright, that's good for dealing with stress. Ooh, this actually removes a mortality debuff, so we can use this on Alexander. Remain vigilant, my friend. Alright, that's dealt with. Does anyone need super duper healing? Well, the Dark Ritual actually can can heal 50% of the wounds, but will also destroy all of our light, which I don't like. Nobody needs stress anymore. I suppose we could just do some simple wound care. Anyone else have wound care? Oh, you do. Alright, so Alexander then. There we go. That's helping. Oh, anybody else? Nobody needs encouragement. Um... We just go for this is how we do it. Or a pep talk. Every rose has its thorn. Now the gesture is all about managing stress. Alright, two there and two there. Um, ooh, pep talk for reducing stress for him in the future. This pan tends to really. He, he gets the stress coming on. And I don't know, I guess we'll encourage him to. It's kind of a waste, but whatever. We're done. Everybody's happy. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Let's go mess up our enemies. The way we do. And man, the upgrades might have been expensive, but freaking Swine King was a pushover compared to how it used to be. Okay, wow, what do we got? This guy and the Hulking Swine Tar. Hmm. Well, harvesting them both might be good. A powerful blow. All right, he's bleeding. He's not. Let's get the hex going on you. And that's gonna mean the big hit is coming. Oh, that feels good. And we finish him off with a solid smite. So close. Got one hit point left. Or rush. Ooh. And all he goes stunned into the back. Tentacle devour. Oof. 
Yeah, that's best left dodged. Um, yep, we're gonna put you back together. Wow, healing for 19. We could use those a bit more often there, Pan. Uh, well, I guess we get started on this one. And then you can deliver the harvest. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Crunching back hit. Oh. That's apparently in point blank range. I'll be happy to dodge it. Oh, uh, yep, let's keep the healing coming. Ineffectually as it may be. Make this guy hurt with every single hit. Damage is up for 10 now. Ta -da! 10 and not quite enough to kill. Oh, it's going after two. Wow. Why did we get so dodgy all of a sudden? I don't know why we're doing so well here. This is nuts. Okay, Asmo's all set. Now the next stop is Alexander, but you can just kill him off first. And the bleed will take care of that, but whatever. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. And there are some nice, beautiful portraits. In radiance, may we find victory. Nice, beautiful portraits, which we could definitely use. All right, let's get everybody back in our logical order here. All right, you go here. You go there. Fantastic. Well done, team. And uh, now we got to get back to where we were before. Um, well, let's just peek at this curio. We don't need to do a hallway battle, but we can take a look at this. We do bring holy water, which actually makes this uh, a safe search. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yeah, no need to do hallway fights. This I think we're only going to do because of the fact that there's a curio in the way, and then we can continue searching from here. In fact, I might kill the light in order to make these fights a little more challenging, although it would be good to return without any nasty diseases or crazy stress. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, let's, let's make him feel the abyssal artillery. Why not? Six damage, not fantastic. Let's see if we can get him with the finishing. Eradicated. Man, Alexander's OP. This is getting ridiculous. He's just a freaking axe murderer. All right, we can do the slice off here. Do we get the bleed? Yeah, we got the bleed. All right. Wow, four damage bleed too. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. 14 damage and it's really not even that much health because David is getting buffed. Staggering force. Asmo gets shuffled to the back and uh, we'll deal with that. Unless they dodge. Uh, yep, we'll help them out. Yep, most problems dealt with and uh, yeah, you gotta die. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Put your cuts. Dodged again. We might as well just smack you in the face. How's that feel? I uh, resisted the stun, you lucky schmuck. Well, let's go for the battle ballad. We're gonna get some hilarious crits in. And make this genuinely entertaining. Okay, uh, let's mark him. So that when the axe falls, it's particularly painful. Oh yeah. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. Goodness, you guys definitely love putting on these big heads. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Do we have any bandages? No, we don't. Darn. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh, 
We could definitely use some bandages right now. He's bleeding out quite profusely all over the place. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Oh, he'll be fine. Oh, we can't feed him any more food. That stinks. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Thankfully surprised. Oh, well, slice off it is. Four for five rounds, 20 damage. That is powerful. Okay, Pan is not so desperate anymore. We need to make sure Big Fella here is marked. So that he can be much more quickly killed. Until you get thrown in the back and stunned, then it is kind of bad. However, mm, that feels good. That sucks. No worries, I think that's just more stress damage. Which is not the most terrible thing, you know, plus 30 stress damage. Could be a lot worse. Are you trying to double stun him? Apparently it worked. Aha, it doesn't work. Trot retreat. Oh, I bet he's trying to line up for a big lunge or something. We're not going to let that happen. Oh, the Red Plague on Alexander. Oh, negative 10 max hit points, negative 5 crit, negative bleed resistance, 75%. Bastard. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, he's dead from bleed. Uh, you can't do anything from here, so, uh... Mutilate that corpse. And giggle about it. Nine is better. So close. Bleed. 12 damage for 3 rounds? You can't deal with that. Holy sh crap. Gotta have some bandages or something. No, we don't. Stress, but it's better than people dying. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. 
drink some holy water to give a little bit of a help here. And, uh, yep, we're not gonna die. We're waiting on that heal. Waiting on that big heal that's gonna save his life that you can't do because you're in the wrong spot. That one hit point's keeping him alive. Oh, look who just arrived. Cool friends. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Okay, well, we won't dally anymore with him. surges as the enemy crumbles. Let's mark him. Well struck. One hit point is all you need. No time for some buffs. Be fine, Asmo. Don't you worry. We're gonna shuffle back so we can do some real healing. Oh, those big critical hits. So solid, so juicy. Make me happy. 21 healing. Oh. If only we could replicate that more often. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Yeah, I don't think it is. Okay, hi. Oh, was a yeah. Oh, hey, look, there's a secret room over there. Let's go play in the secret room. It's over here somewhere. There you go. We have got a key somewhere. I thought we had a key. There we go. Yeah, we got a key. Finding oh. the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Dismiss his head. 25% damage for negative 10% health. And 20 stress damage. Hello, Dismiss's head. I don't think Dismiss is supposed to have died just yet, but uh, apparently some people seem to think he has. Ooh. Well then. What are we gonna do with all that treasure? Well, I guess we're gonna... I don't know. Toss the worst of it and just take the precious bits. Anyone want to read nasty, scary books? Oh, hey! Lurker! That's a benefit? Plus 10% damage if the torch is below 26%. Oh, he likes fighting in the dark. Well, that works. Don't mind that one bit. Fortunately, we can't camp anymore, but we can take advantage of what treasure we can find. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Came from nothing, but I'll not end with nothing, says Esmo. Dive on in and he finds loot. Who needs food? I guess you do. 
And uh, whatever, gold. Oh, nasty freaking outlaws, huh? And here comes the broadfire. I was kind of wishing they didn't win initiative. Got some nice sexy dodging seems to be fixing that problem. This actually might be a good opportunity for abyssal artillery. A singular strike! Yeah, it definitely seems that way. Uh, well, you can't get back there, so... Nearly killed him in one hit. That's good. Um... Yeah, I guess relieve stress. Finish him. As the fiend falls, there we go. Faint hope blossoms. How quickly the tide wow. turns. Man, the minions in here are way worse than the frickin' Swine King himself. That is a bit alarming. Ooh. Seem to be ripped to shoot with a damn. Oh, those 19 heals. Keep those up, Pan. We need plenty of those. And less dodges. Um, yeah, battle ballot. Spreading the pain around, sadly. Just the amount of damage. Now it's all you back there by your lonesome. Welcome to the front of the line. You won't like what's about to happen. Well, I guess you... So many people in need of healing. Especially the ones that are bleeding. I suppose they get the... Uh, devastating blow. Priority treatment. God damn. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Wow, 25% max HP for the antiquarian. Well, I suppose that solves her hit point problems. Toss these medicinal herbs and uh light the match is struck. Oh, the A shots. blazing star is born. Yep, we're all bleeding real good. Don't worry, everybody, we'll endure. Plenty of shovels. Blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Hmm. It's really worth pushing on. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. And we got the food, so I imagine we can do it. Time to switch up. Because we need people to start bleeding. Pronto. Mm, that'll make things better. Exposed to a killing blow. Nothing too severe. Okay, how do we put a stop to all this nonsense? 
Right in his face. Of course he resisted. Why wouldn't he? Well, I'm not gonna let him take his turn. Damn it. You have one hit point. Thankfully dodged. Not quite what I was hoping for. There's the stun I was hoping for. Death's door? Perched at the very precipice. For sure. Oblivion. We're gonna make sure we're not there anymore. Much better. Two. God, Pan. Really can't settle for two right now. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. It would seem that way. Well, we got the stun. Okay, thankfully punishment going to someone that can take it. Shank thankfully dodged. And uh, how about you guys look at this piece of paper? Much obliged. Well then, um, yeah. You! Oh, that's a lot of bleeding. and lined up for everybody else. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Perhaps. Okay. Um, how's that bleed? Not great. No, yeah, none, none of these bleeds are great. This whole push into the limit stuff is uh, kind of extreme, really. I know we need to rebuild our finances and all, but damn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good with the maps. Are you done bleeding? Yeah, you are done bleeding. In fact, I think we're all at uh, Death's Door Recovery or at Death's Door. So I think this next fight is really probably not necessary. Yeah, I think it's time to go home. Are we done doing something stupid? Well done, team. Alright, so that's about 17,000 gold. Quite a few portraits. Well, well, yeah, Alexander gets up to champion level and everybody else gets up to master level. Quick draw, gripping in the guts, maybe 20 heal skills while camping. Healer's gift misses the spot, fear of the eldritch, <laughs> and the unerring. that started out really smooth and then it all went downhill the longer we got to play with all of the can you feel it 
The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Oh, yeah, I can feel it all right. So we got rid of demonomania, compulsive, got rid of all those horrible illnesses, lethargy, the goo. Oh boy, Ben the Third's lost on a holy vision again. And uh, Nick is no longer masochistic, Dominique's no longer fearful, and Samantha's feeling all better. Ben is definitely keen on going on those magical vision quests. He seems to be doing that a lot. Funny, really. But, uh, hey, it just seems to be what happens. I don't know why these guys are all lined up like they're gonna go out again, because the hell, frickin' that's not happening. Get out of there, you crazy people. In fact, uh, yeah, we've got disease treatment you need. Oh, what to start with? Red Plague. David, what do you have? Gramping in the guts. Well, we definitely need to get rid of that, too. Anybody else have any horrible, afflicting uh, viruses or other illnesses that definitely need treatment? Doesn't look like it. So now we just have to look at people who are dealing with horrible stress. And, uh, it would seem... Asmo, Pan, and David are the ones who are most in need of help. So we'll send Asmo gambling. Uh, we'll send uh, Pan. Uh, you'll only go to frickin' the brothel. Of course you will. In fact, that's such an annoying trait. I'm gonna go get that treated. Which one is it? Love interest. Yeah, I don't care if I have to dump that much money. That's gotta go. Because it's such a pain in the ass right there. Whew. Wow. And I think that'll do as far as uh, various treatment activities. Yeah, everybody that's either stressed or diseased is down there having something done to them. Presumably to help. And the next bit of adventure will well, be something else. Hopefully something a little less crazy. Perhaps even a little more productive. Ooh. Well, I see, it looks like we can actually afford the guild upgrade. There we go, next level instruction mastery. Fantastic. Although I think uh, getting the last bit of training regime to make the last upgrade cheaper is probably going to be called for. Definitely. Ooh, good progress though, fantastic progress. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video where we got to hack apart the Swine King. I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.